Oh man, it's almost over with. We're just right outside Peach's castle. Can you believe it's almost over? Can you? That's kind of a weird thing, and I suppose they did it in Mario U. New Super Mario Brothers U as well. But it's like, hey, we're at the end of the game. We're at Peach's castle. Come to think of it, have we ever seen Peach's castle when it wasn't treated as the villain's hideout? I don't believe so. Like, have we ever been able to just straight up go there and it wasn't evil? I mean, Super Mario RPG. Man, that's a lot I guess. A lot more cleaned up than I thought it would be. They really haven't touched it much since the last time. Yeah, it's a lot more settled up than what it had. It, but I can jump all over this stuff. Ooh, spooky music. Uh, da -da. Oh, wait, wrong game. Was there supposed to be a door there? Oh my god. There was! She's worked everything over. Man! That door is supposed to take us to friggin... Oh, wait, oh, wait, Snowman wait. place. Yeah. Oh man, I've been dying to eat some strawberries. Hop, Where did this door take you? I don't know. Because there was Bob on Battlefield, and there was the snowman place. I don't remember what was in that door. And then through this door was uh, Dire Dire Docks. Well, through this door, it's a toad house. The crap was in that other one. <gasps> Man, I'm gonna kick myself. I guess I can't remember what was in that one door. Maybe there wasn't a door there. Oh, it was uh, it Thwomp's Fortress. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, yeah, with the big Thwomp at the top. Yeah. Or whatever that dude was called. It wasn't a Thwomp, it was uh... But yes, we have a Toad House right here. Oh my god. It's been so long. Hylian Shield Bunny. <laughs> Oh no! We're being followed by a ghost. <gasps> oh my god! A very sexy ghost. And I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be doors where those windows are. The oh, door wait. where that window is actually took you to the first Bowser fight. Wasn't the one of the doors supposed to lead downstairs to where you had to go outside to the courtyard to see the booze? Oh yeah. I think there were two doors on the inside. Because like the two on the inside took you downstairs to the booze. And then the two on the outside took you to the um places with the things. Not the places with the things. Yeah. But took you to um, the snowman place and the um, Thom's Fortress. Hey, you can finally get that after it's been over here, hovering over us so long. Hey! Yeah, so that, that was that, and then there were those two. On the left side, where that one window was, was the first Bowser fight. On the other side was... That was the one slide thing, wasn't it? Wasn't Peach's slide you had to, like, look up to get to it? Oh, no. Oh, no, wait, that was that flying yeah, one. Yeah, that was the flying one. But, yeah, that's how you get up there is a pile of books. You just jump on them. And yeah, you have to have the ability to jump. Just come up here, and you can finally get that life room that's been mocking us since the beginning of the game. Which is sadly... And there's finally something we could wow. jump over. Yeah. I didn't see that one. That's kind of the thing. most surprising thing all game. Wow! Wow! Wowie zowie! Okay, let's get the crap out of here. Yeah. I'm just looking over for final stuff that we may have missed. Like this thing up here. Uh, I'm kidding. We don't get the ability to head bonk stuff like that until the next game. And then when you went up there. Hey, this is where the Bowser's Diary was. Hey. I'm kind of surprised there aren't any dudes in here. Mm, they're up ahead, but Peach's castle's pretty much cleared out for you. Like, we had all kinds of dudes wandering around here earlier, now there's nothing. Even Gourmet Guy left. Well, he was gone a long time ago. I see you, Hylian Shield Bunny. Oh, we can go in the door to see to uh, Peach's room. Yes, only Peach can put items in there. Mario can't. Sorry, Mario. Princesses only. <laughs> only princesses have the ability to do so. 
<clears throat> Actually, somebody wanted uh, pointed out to me at the very beginning of the thing. If you bug the guard at the very beginning enough, he'll actually just let you in here. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna let us go through. Why would they? I don't know. I think it'd be neat. I like how it's fine. It's just text there. <laughs> like, originally it was Peach and Twink talking, but now it's just text because it's Mario. Now it's the narrator. Exactly. Mario oh just, man, I Mario can't believe just jumps. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we got up so high. <gasps> yeah, I've always wanted to do that. It's like, oh man, after the last, like, two and a half hours, we finally fought our way all the way up here and we're ready to do this. Wee! And goodbye for the final time, Hylian Shield Bunny. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Someday. In a far someday. Off, someday in a far off future called Fan Art Land. Or if we ever boot this game up again. Probably not. You're right, we're never gonna play this game again, as long as we live. Never. I mean, I might just for the kicks and uh, for shits and giggles, but. Well, at that point, you'll see it. <gasps> Ow! Oh, well, that's not baiting at all. <laughs> Is it my clown card intimidating? It's not fire cannon. <laughs> yeah, I've always been kind of iffy about the clown card. Since they entered in uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, when they had Bowser Jr. using it instead, it really fits Bowser Jr. I like that. He used it in Sticker Star as well. Huh. Like, it really fits... <laughs> like the two times you fought him. <laughs> yeah, it really fits him, though. I like that. But Bowser... No, that's that's just silly. Fool! <laughs> We're back once again! We've returned to the scene of the original battle! I know, it's like it bookended or something. Yeah, it's kinda neat. Oh no, he has one defense. Uh, bring out, yeah, bring out Goombario so we can tattle him. Well, I thought it just said blowing clouds. It's like, blowing clouds? What is that gonna do? Just like kind of leans out the window. <sighs> oh god! <laughs> Intimidating, wasn't that Mario? <sighs> Mario's just sitting there going, the horror. Ow. Uh, it said it did eight, but it only did seven because we had damage dodge on defense point. Yep, that one defense point. Yeah. And yes, everybody, we're gonna use Goombario for the finale. How do you feel now? I don't know. I almost want to spite him and just not use him. Well, oh, too bad we're using him. I'd like to use Bo, but you know what? He's got defense, so. Oh no, he used the Star Rod, but we have the ability to counteract that with Star Beam. Quick to use Bomb Bath. I wish it for you to nullify that shit. Yeah. Multi Bomb. That's yeah, that was awesome. That was a really great multi bonk, man. Not gonna lie. Best one in the world. It's a new world record. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know. If it, I'll, I'll just say, if it were me playing, I would probably. Yeah, but it's not you. Playing. I know it's not. But let me like freaking talk. If it were me playing, I would probably like never use Goombario just because I really hate the timing on the. Yes, you've said it before. Jump. Hate the timing on the jump. I think, well, only, I think the only thing that kills me for the jump is when they have an arc to it. And not like a straight up arc, a long arc. It just kind of really screws up my timing. 
Not the star rod once more. Okay, I'll try this crap again. It's not like it hasn't failed me yet. I'm really glad your nullification thing doesn't take any points. Yeah, that would be dick. Just, like, take the whole star bar up there. Even if it took one point, that just means Bowser's have to do it eight times, and there we go. Star bar. I hear it's a bar for stars. Hey, even if it took, like, one point. Yeah, dang it, Bowser. What? I know, he's taking out our partner. Oh, no. Bowser, oh. Bowser just holds up, holds up the rod. I wish to do three damage to everyone. And now the spell works out. Really, he couldn't, like, wish for something greater than that. Just kind of, uh... I'm gonna wish for three damage. Oh, if only Goombari were up. Yep, sorry, Goombari. Nope, he heals. You gonna do anything with her, or are you gonna just gonna stay, stay put there or what? Wouldn't you still do more damage with the hammer? Probably. How do you keep catching on fire? Fire back. Because generally, I think if they even have one, yeah. Yeah, do more damage with the hammer. I think if they have even one point of defense, the hammer's better. Yeah, because the jump does separate damage yeah. while the hammer does one full shushwing. Like, you can't even kind of get away with it with one defense point. It's just, period, any defense point. One of these days, Bowser, you're gonna figure this crap out, and then just stop using it, because it's not working for you. <laughs> yeah, finally blocked it. You may want to heal. We got life shrooms. Okay, just gonna... just gonna life shroom it on up, then. Life That's alright. That's alright. To the east side. Yeah! Goombario wins! Heck yeah! That's a lot of star points. I know. Maybe they did that just in case. Oh, we could almost grind out that last, last bit. Why do they give us star points? Because this is not the final battle. Oh! I mean, it would have been awesome to get double star points on that, but you know what? I, I can live with it. He looks so dumb in that clown car. He actually looks like he got smaller, too. Yeah, it's like his body gets tinier and he's got this <laughs> giant I'm coming head. after you, Peach! Well, this was a bad idea! Got a <laughs> tiny little land, body. Land at the very start, have to do the game all <laughs> over again. Got a tiny little body, a giant head. It's like comedic. Ah, we've been up this way before. Ah, oh, yes, we have. This is where we came Peach up here had to as go. Peach. Because Cammy was doing something up here. Yeah. We did not, however, you with your big ol' head. <laughs> Get out of there so you can look more intimidating. We have not, however, seen what is in this door. Yes, we never got up this far. Cammy blocked the way. I saw one to spin up everywhere, but it just won't let me. It's like every new step is a freaking new plateau. I could lack a luster up. I could probably go heal at the Toad House. That'd be a good idea. Fade out. Oh. And then we returned. Nope, I'm gonna jump again. Ah, uh, damn you invisible walls. God dang it, Nintendo, this is a Mario game. Let us jump. It's what we do. Anyway, through this door is the final battle. I hope you've saved and if you've done everything you needed to do because that is a fucking long trek all the way back. Also, this is the final fight, so um, after the final fight, you're kind of not going to do anything else. Well, you can't save after the final fight, so, you know, it'll always, <sighs> it'll always boot us up right down there. Huh. Alright, in How we go. That? Yeah, that's not a flimsy bridge whatsoever. Yeah, I completely trust in the structural integrity of that bridge. More like playing cards. Oh, go! <laughs> this doesn't look like an arena of sorts. <laughs> It's even got the little clown face, too. Oh, man, I knew playing cards were a terrible building material. Man. 
Now I'll never be able to make that giant house of cards. We call ourselves many things, like plumber. Hey, you call yourself a hero? Well, what are we gonna do? We kind of came here to beat up Bowser. We're just gonna sit back <laughs> no. and like, all right. We all right. call ourselves plumber, and people call us, hey, you, the guy who smells like shit. You mean that the uh, that the villain of this game was actually proactive while the hero was foiling their plan? Wow! Go on. And really, that's kind of what the Magikoopas did. That's kind of like, I mean, even in like Yoshi's Island too. That's kind of what they did. They'd show up and just make other people stronger. They even made Baby Bowser stronger. So if they can make Baby Bowser stronger, pretty sure... Yes. Well, crap, heck, they did that in New Super Mario Brothers and New Super Mario Brothers U. Hmm. Just show up and make dudes stronger. We're not cheeky. We're Italian. He's kind of big. He grew bigger. Can you not just pay attention? He probably can't fit in his clown car anymore. Yeah. For the best, for the best, really. And now we begin tripping into the final battle. <laughs> Real tactful there, Mario. Real slick. Bowser, he's it's got the, 400 HP. It's the evil King Bowser. Uh, I think he got bigger. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Thanks, Nakagoomba. As it, as it turns out, he's got like exactly the same stats as the previous fight. Nope, he's got 99 HP and two defense like, this time. He's exactly the same, he's just bigger. With two defense, I would kind of suggest not using Goombario. Too bad. Alright, have fun doing like one damage and attack. Like, you want to make it harder on Take yourself. Take this, toe. You make it harder on yourself, more power to you. Yeah, block that. Block that shit, yo. And smash your toe in again. Smash your other toe. Not the good old star rod. I hear it's a rod for stars. Yeah, it's a rod with a star on it. How about that? Well, I guess it's time to get rid of that good old Star Rod power-up. Like, it's just making us waste a turn, Bowser. Come on. Yeah, I mean, come on. Try it, try it a little better here. If nothing else, it's a free attack for Goombaria. <gasps> oh, no, it didn't work this time! Oh! We're gonna have to use the Super Star Beam. I'm actually surprised this happened earlier, but this is pre-scripted. Brave Mario, does that mean he gives you the ability to attack twice? <laughs> um, kick Cammy in the forehead. Oh, if only you knew. Just straight up backflip. Whack! Like one of them soccer kicks. Boom! <laughs> Freaking twink, man! <laughs> Is it you, Rang? Let me powder you off here while I take off this rose. I guess that's how it works in the Mushroom Kingdom. Sure, why not? Hey, Twink, you want to stop clipping into Peach there? <laughs> I mean, there is such a thing as personal space. And now we get a battle with Twink versus Kami Koopa. Oh, man! I still wanted to see Peach become, like, your surprise partner for the final boss. Oh, aw. Surprise, Peach is a, uh, is a partner. Heck yeah. Now she focuses and makes Twink stronger every turn. I mean, I wanted to see her be the partner, like, for the actual battle of the fight, but you know what? This is alright. There's no way you can lose this fight. This is prescriptive. Oh! You, you can't even block that. That's just... You take the damage. But yeah. notice how he's getting more sparkly. <gasps> Sparkles! Why, you little... 
Why you big? Yeah, getting stronger. Her only attack is to summon the blocks. Two. Oh, and an extra defense point as well. Yes, he keeps getting stronger and his defense keeps going up. I like how he's still uncertain when he's attacking. His mouth goes all, like, wiggly. Like, he's going like, I don't know what I'm doing, but here... Why does it seem like the Star Kid's getting stronger while Peach prays to him to get stronger? Hmm. Uh, wait a minute. Is no. that- that's why they call it Star Haven. We finally got the answer for that. We figured it out. After all this time. He's just so uncertain. Like, he's all angry going up to her, but then, like, push comes to shove, he just kind of goes, I don't know what I'm doing! One last attack from Kami Koopa. Will it do anything? Just twink? Spoilers. No. Nope. It can't be. Oh, no. The stars get all their powers from ordinary people's wishes. Peach has been wishing for the little star kid to get power. That means I lose this boss bat, this pre-scripted boss battle. By being awesome! I'm just gonna count that twink drop kicker at the end. Alright. <laughs> but that's it, Cammy's out of the fight. And Twink is stronger now. Alright, Twink, go over and like beat up Bowser for us now. Eh, close enough. Alright, I wish for Twink to get even stronger. Let's just keep doing this, every turn. Till eventually just one-shot Bowser. Mushroom Kingdom? I hear it's a kingdom for mushrooms. Oh. Mario, I hear he's a <laughs> I wonder if he likes pasta. Pasta, Azul. Heck yeah, little, Twink! I like this little music, it's nice. It sounds familiar for some reason, I, I don't know where I've heard it before. If I've heard it before, outside of Paper Mario. <laughs> no, I actually feel fine. <laughs> My neck! Apparently Twink's special ability is to kick people in the back of the head. <laughs> Oh no, we're getting more powerful. Does that mean we're getting a power-up for the Star Beam? And this'll be like, you get an, you can get another spell that'll be like after the Star Beam. It'll like take up the entire bar, but it's like summon Twink and he just shows up and drop kicks the enemy. This flies in. What up? Is GA? Does like 60 damage. Twink, the drop kick star. <laughs> They're behind us, 110%. But by definition, it's impossible to give more than 100%. What did he say after that? I don't remember. <laughs> oh man, the Star Beam's been upgraded, it's now the Peach Beam! Oh man! Dude, does it like shoot peaches at Bowser? That must be a delicious beam!